That is the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. From here you can see all four reactors. They are not in use anymore. So if you start from the right to the left, two black boxes, these are reactors number one and two. Then you can see the rust roof, that is reactor number three. And the reactor number four, the one that exploded, is covered now with the new safe confinement. And now we're gonna visit that place. Kind of antennas on the left, that is a switchart that was in use before when the Chernobyl nuclear power plant was operating and producing, by the way, 10% of the electricity needs of Ukraine. It still works, this switchart, which is nicknamed Iron Forest, but in the opposite direction, because the Chernobyl nuclear power plant does not produce any electricity since 2000, but it consumes energy, the epicenter of the worst nuclear disaster in the human history. That is a Chernobyl nuclear power plant and you will see how close we can get to the ruined reactor number 4 that exploded on the 26th of April in 1986. Now we are driving around the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. You can see that all four reactors are connected by a long grey building. That is a turbine hall. Inside of it there were two turbines per each reactor that were rotating and producing energy. Last year the wall of the turbine hall was, was decorated by a modern day graffiti and next to the GNPP there is a memorial complex, the monument of Prometheus taken from the town of Pripyat. Prometheus is the Greek hero who had taken the fire from the gods and gave it to people and you know how this legend ended in the end. Now we continue to drive around, we see the administrative building, this grey building. The administration of uh, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is doing some paperwork. As for today, 2000 and a half approximately people still work for the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. What are they doing here? That's the long and very expensive process. All the bricks, like each brick, each detail has to be checked over here, taken to some storage. And there are different types of this radioactive waste. So the whole process will take another at least 50 years. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant does not produce any electricity, but still that is a nuclear facility and it is very well protected. I hope. Uh, here we have different factories for treatment of the nuclear waste, temporal storages of the nuclear waste. And right now they already have started to take the spent nuclear fuel from the old storage situated just here uh, to the new storage uh, that was recently built nearby. And only, you know, for transportation of this spent fuel, it's gonna take about 10 years. And you see the dome now, the new safe confinement. the biggest on-land movable construction on our planet. I called it movable because it was built not exactly here, but about 300 meters to the right. And the whole structure, which is 36,000 tons heavy steel structure, was pushed on the rails with the help of the hydraulic jacks to confine the remains of the reactor number 4 that exploded. It was built to prevent the release of radioactive dust to cover the old sarcophagus that itself became a source of danger. Is a level of radiation here, right? So let's come closer and see how much radiation we've got here. So that is like the observation desk, just 300 meters away from the new safe confinement from the reactor number four that exploded. Here is a monument dedicated to people who built the old sarcophagus that was the first object shelter that covered the damaged reactor number four after the accident. Many people put lots of efforts into that shelter to stop spreading of contamination. But sarcophagus was built for 30 years only, and that is exactly for how long it was standing without being covered. And now it is double shielded, double covered by the new safe confinement. So you can say this is like the Russian Matryoshka, yeah, damage reactor number four in the middle, covered with the object shelter, old sarcophagus, and now there is the new safe confinement on the top. So we are standing less than 300 meters away from the damaged reactor number four. And the level of radiation here is 0.9. So it's about one microsievert per hour. And I think that's the pure miracle. 
that we can stand here and the level is not that high, it's moderate. If you compare that level to the level of radiation on board of the airplane, when you fly in the sky, you have uh, 2.5, 3.5 microsieverts per hour. So here it is three times less than on board of the airplane. Now many tourists stop here just to take photographs and it doesn't really feel like being at the epicenter of the worst nuclear disaster. It looks quiet and peaceful. The new safe confinement, even though it is so complicated, so giant, and it will last here for 100 years, the radiation inside will keep being radioactive for thousands of years. So basically, we've got 96 years left to decide what to do with all that radioactive masses hidden inside of the new safe confinement of the old sarcophagus. So now people keep working and keep thinking on how to solve this problem. That famous elephant's foot the nuclear masses, they are still inside. So how to make sure that you are not contaminated, that you don't take any you know, radioactive particles from you? That is the radiation control frame, very easy to use. And the step inside, so there are many sensors here, and they check all your body. And the second light indicates that you are clean, so the doors are opened and you can go out. If that happens that you are dirty, if you are not clean, then this light will turn on and that will mean that you are contaminated. In this case, you will have to wash your contaminated part of your body. Yeah, but usually it doesn't happen, so don't worry. So now I know that I can come back to my family, to my children. I'm absolutely radioactively clean. I just need to take a shower after a long day, and that's it. Bye. So what's the result? What? How much radiation we accumulated for the whole day? And remember that was 0.000 millisieverts in the morning. Now it's 0.004. So that's a little more than usually tourists received because, uh, well, I've been measuring many hotspots, so I, I have a little more than typical. That is like two hours of a flight anyway. So 0.002 is this is how much you accumulate for one hour of a flight. And here I have two hours of the flight. That means, yes, it is safe to visit Chernobyl's vision zone with a good guide.